This is the Hindu Kush Himalayan region, covering about 5 million square kilometers from Afghanistan in the west to Myanmar in the east. Access to safe, affordable and sufficient water for drinking, sanitation and hygiene is a growing concern for residents in the middle mountain watersheds of the HKH region. Not just to the people in the, in the Hindu Kush Himalaya region, but also the people living downstream who depend on spring-fed rivers. But the importance is also growing because there is a water crisis happening. It's in a silent way, you can say, due to drying up of springs. In Fulbadi village of Namo Buddha municipality in Kavri district of Nepal, many springs have dried up, placing grave stress on the local population. Field studies conducted under the Resilient Mountain Solutions Initiative in June 2019 showed that out of the 50 springs surveyed within a small area of 4.4 square kilometers, only 28 were running, while 22 had completely dried up. Other studies from the HKH region paint a similar picture. The springs in Fulbadi and other places in the mid-hills of the HKH are drying up due to both natural and anthropogenic factors. These include erratic and high-intensity rainfall, longer dry spells, earthquakes, land use change leading to reduced infiltration, road and infrastructure construction, degradation of traditional ponds, groundwater extraction through pumps, and lack of proper management systems. The pressure from depleting springs is increasing the hardship of the local population especially women and children, who bear the primary responsibility of fetching water for household use. This is also increasing the vulnerability of poor and marginalized communities. तो <laughs> अनि देले चाहिँ कन्सर्न नलाएर हजुरको म उता गएको हेर्नु अब आफूले हुन त यस्तो नराम्रो छु हैन नराम्रो भए पनि उता पानी चिसो मिठो अनि यता हजुरको पानी पनि त्यति पुग्दैन सानो छ अहिले म देखाइदिउँला डुबुलका दिन म तपाईको दुई गाग्र तीन गाग्र अब जान भए चार गाग्र सम्म ल्याइन्छ नो भए बेलका बिहान दुई गाग्र दुई गाग्र पहिले पहिले पानी पर्थ्यो अब पानी पर्दाखेरि तपाईको मूल पनि अब छाङछुङ जान्थ्यो मूल फुट्थ्यो पानी पलाउँथ्यो अब अहिले हजुरको भन्नु हुन्छ भने अब पानी त्यति पर्दैन पहिले देखि पानीको समस्या हाम्रो यो ठाउँमा बढी पहिले देखि समस्या हो र यो मूल पनि बहत्तर साल को भूचालो पश्चात यहाँ 18 महीना दुई वर्ष जाती पानी एक थोपो आए ना पाताल को कुरा जाए कि आए वंदा पाताल में पानी जो सानो पानी आंग जो बुका में आए बाजी पानी सूखो पानी सूखे बाजी उधर उधर हमला ये इसी मर ले जाए मेलाम जी में ताली में पढ़ाई दिन हुआ साथ ही ने ताली मेलाम जी में जानू वन रे इसी मर ले पढ़ पानी कुन ठाउँ बाट आउँछ कुन ठाउँमा के हुन्छ कत ठाउँ बाट पानी आउँछ भन्ने कुरा गर्नु भो त्यहाँ तालिम दिने सरले मैले भने कि पानी आउँछ कहाँ बाट भन्दा चरण बाट पानी आउँछ भन्ने कुरा राखे चरण को ढलन कत ढल्क्या छ त्यता पानी आउँछ ढलन ढल्क्या ठाउँ बाट पानी आउँछ सो हाउ आर स्प्रिंग्स एक्चुअली रिवाइव्ड 
given the complexity and urgency of the issue, a methodology was designed that could be useful to field practitioners and researchers as well. The International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development, Nepal, in partnership with Advanced Centre for Water Resources Development and Management, Pune, India, developed and applied this six-step methodology for reviving springs. Step 1. Comprehensive mapping of springs and spring sheds. In this step, a reconnaissance survey is carried out to delineate the spring shed area. Step 2. Setting up a data monitoring system. A rain gauge is installed and locals are trained in collecting rainfall and spring discharge data. This baseline data is useful in deciding which springs need to be revived. This data is also shared with the community. Step 3. Understanding social and governance aspects. In this step, focus group discussions Key informant interviews and questionnaire surveys are conducted in order to understand current patterns of water use and ways in which communities manage their spring water resources. Step 4. Hydrological mapping, layout development and identification of recharge area. During a transect walk, geology of the place is observed which includes latitude, longitude, elevation, spring location and measurements. This data is laid out on a Google Earth base map. This is followed by a cross-sectional layout. Finally, spring and aquifer types are identified and its recharge area is outlined. Step 5. Developing Spring Shed Management Protocols Spring revival and management activities are conducted in this step. This includes hydrogeological inventory for spring sheds and their operational and maintenance guidelines. Recharge structures are also built in this step. Step 6 is about measuring the impact of spring revival through continuous monitoring and analysis. The situation is quite similar in the Indian Himalayan region, which is threatening water security. According to Niti Aayog's report, nearly 50% of springs in the IHR have dried up or have reduced discharge. Spring water quality has also diminished. Drying up of springs not only affects rural water security, but also river flows, riparian and wetland ecosystems. Climate change is expected to exacerbate these problems. Springs in the Hindu Kush Himalaya are lifeline for millions of people and they provide, let's say, social, cultural, economic, as well as ecological services. And almost 50% of those springs have either dried or their discharge has reduced. Now, this has huge implications for the local water security, particularly for women and the marginalized groups who do not have access to more, you know, water resources. The treasury of women is directly linked to the drying up of springs.
सायो ठाउँमा पानी चाहिँ हाम्रो रैना सायो ठाउँमा